So let's dive quickly deep into Global Teamworks 3.0. Uh, how many of you are not in a global distributed team? Okay, good, everyone. Globalization, mobility, distributed learning and work, interactivity, collaboration, convergence of physical, virtual and social spaces are a reality in our workplace today. So how do we harvest knowledge and foster creativity that goes through all these levels, from the micro level, individual, to the macro level, global and national? How do you capitalize on core competences in your company when disruptors like time, space, culture, cross-disciplinary teamwork, heterogeneous technology infrastructures create these discontinuities and also set new cognitive demands on global learners and workers. So more specifically, how do you communicate? How do you share ideas and feedback? How do you make your local conditions visible to your team members, to your boss? How do you create knowledge, capture, and reuse it? Over the past two decades, we have been building in the PBL lab an evolving collaboration teamwork ecosystem that spans over these five dimensions. Core to our R&D is actually the development of collaboration technologies and interactive workspaces that support cross-disciplinary geographically distributed teamwork. And more importantly, our biggest asset are the people, the students, the faculty, the industry partners that immerse in this brave new world and allow us to actually study the transformative behaviors that occur at individual, at team dynamics level, what are emergent work practices that they develop. One of the latest projects we've been working on is M3R. That stands at the fusion of physical, virtual, and mobile worlds, and really demonstrates how mixed media, mixed reality can expand our capabilities and resources to work in uh, regular work settings as well as respond to disaster situations very quickly doing crowdsourcing and bringing the best experts online interactively. Here are some instances of our test beds where uh, you can see our iRoom with multi-touch 12 smart boards that is integrated with a virtual team neighborhood that allows the participants actually to co-create their collaboration space and uh, make decisions and really assess what is the current status of the situation. We like to call this really unfolding the story of the project or the situation around us, making correlations and decisions. Now, uh, one of the latest uh, studies is really looking at multi-channel presence. And we know that face-to-face -face is the best interaction situation. But what we have observed lately is an emerging phenomenon uh, that looks at this multi-channel presence where participants actually are present at the same time in these different worlds, in the physical world, in the digital world, in the robotic world, in the virtual world, and it allows us to study different degrees of engagement in these communicative events, as well as go full circle back to the physical where we integrate sensor-based Kinect physical presence with the virtual avatar, a presence of the same person. Now, how do we make choices, so many choices of spaces, technologies, and interaction options? We build on the fact that we as humans are actually wired for feedback. So why really 
are we compelled to act when we are faced with our own data? And, and it's actually helping us self-regulate due to the fact that we are given control. We are given feedback. Over the last two years, we have had the pleasure to work with MediaX and one of the industry partners, Konica Minolta, to develop an engagement matrix of choices that allows knowledge workers to make explicit choices related to their work environment, physical, virtual, and interaction, that act actually as feedback nudges to push and help the participants really understand their local conditions and make those transparent to their team members. It provides a toolkit and metrics to really assess your engagement potential. I want to close with a couple of takeaways. First, 10 key characteristics Related, related to next generation collaboration spaces, such as foster co-creation, and rich interaction in formal and informal settings. Increase awareness, attention, participation, and engagement. Sustain persistent content in context, both content and models. Leverage knowledge in context and crowdsourcing. Facilitate transparency, transparency of your local conditions, your choices, your workload. Uh, Maximize flexibility, remixing and repurposing of the content and create emergent work practices. Last but not least, I want to encourage you to actually switch your focus on change management towards creating and managing choice, because that is actually representing the constant change scenario that we live in. Another 10 set of takeaways is related to transformations. Transformations from building information models to knowledge models. From stacks of content to experience to content in context from viewing to experiencing, from group dynamics to team cohesion, from sequential processes to agile sprints, from meeting minutes driven activities to results driven sessions, from being a source to becoming a resource in a network environment, from broadcast to crowdsourcing, from presentation mode to unfolding stories in this awesome interactive spaces, and last but not least, moving from multitasking to engagement. Thank you very much, and congratulations, MediaX, on your 10th anniversary. We look to the next decade.